Cheers! Merry Christmas! And welcome to a bit of a St. Cook's Christmas special. We're going to be doing some Selenium inspired Christmas party food for you all. We're doing three party foods with three cocktails over three videos. Enjoy! Cheers! 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 As you can see, we're not in our regular St. Cook's kitchen. We've set up a little tropical getaway in our front room because it's cold outside and we want to feel all warm and fuzzy inside and get in that festive spirit. Our first party food is a Selenian twist on a classic mince pie. It's summertime in Selenian right now, so we're going to be doing a tropical mince pie. These tropical mince pies are inspired by a lot of flavors from the island. It looks like a lot of ingredients, but they all go into the one pot. We've got mango, chopped dates, ginger, coconut, and spice. These are the things we're adding to the traditional to make a tropical flavoring of Mises of Santa Luna. We're gonna put all the ingredients in a pot and cook for 10 minutes on a low heat until they've softened to form the mince meat mixture. So our mixture has now softened up to 10 minutes. The full list of ingredients is in the description of this video and on our website. We've just got one more ingredient to add to the mix. And now let's add the rum. So before we make up our mince pies, let's have a taste. Mm, oh my god, it tastes like the tropics. So it's time to make up our mince pies. And we've made a sweet short crust pastry that I've already rolled out and put into the tray. You can get the full recipe for the pastry in the description link to this video. So let's go ahead and fill these. And now the finishing touches, it just needs an egg wash before going into the oven at 190 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes until golden brown. So whilst those mince pies are baking in the oven, I'm going to rustle up a cocktail that I like to call Ragamuffin Rum. Everyone on our loves shipwreck, so we're going to use Captain Morgan Spice Rum and put our twist on it. So first up, you put in your ice, and then you top it up with two shots of your rum. Then, some homemade ginger beer. Mm. And for the end flourish, we'll just put in a little bit of lime and some tropical umbrella. Right, now for the taste. Mmm, like a muffin rub. Wow, that's checking those mince pies. So here they are, the tropical mince pies hot out of the oven, and we love to make them in our original recipe, so let's give them a try. Mm. Delicious. I hope you guys give this recipe a try and add it to your cinnamon new party this Christmas. I've made myself another cocktail. I'm gonna see if Robin's there to get some ragamuffin rum and some tropical mince pies. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! It's my turn today in the second video where we are making a Selenian party food. We're giving twists and new ideas for how to add a little Selenian spice to your Christmas celebrations this, this season. And it is my great pleasure in this video to make for you tuna puddings. Tuna pudding! Tuna pudding is our twist on a classic Selenian fish cake, the best fish cake in the world. Now we've followed the recipe from Addie Benjamin. The video for that recipe is in the description of this one. Go and see it, it's a brilliant video. Addie breaks down a fail-safe, best way to make Selenian fish cakes. But instead of making them into, into fish cakes, we've made them into little tiny balls. So we've just rolled them into balls and then we've fried them as you would a normal fish cake until we come up with some beautiful fried fish cake mixture in the shape of ball. To create the tuna puddings, we're gonna take one of the balls, one of the lovely fried balls, and we're gonna to top it with some mashed potato. You wanna make the mashed potato a little bit looser than you normally would. And we're just gonna to top it like you would a Christmas pudding. All right? 
And then we're gonna garnish it. So think of this as a cherry on a normal Christmas pudding. And a little bit of parsley would be the sprig of holly. Tuna pudding. Like being down in and sand with duck leaves. Mm. Oh, so good. Mm. Mm. Oh, let's make up some more. So here they are, the completed tuna puddings. So cute. Maybe not as professional looking as the ones you buy in Asda or Tesco's, but it guarantees so much more tasty. Yeah. I'm about to go make an accompanying cocktail for this, but before I do. To accompany the tuna pudding, we have a doozy of a cocktail for you. Malibu based, and we're naming it a Town Boy Twist. Emma Jane invented it, she named it after me because I'm a town boy, so I'm going to show you how to make it. Hopefully you'll try it this season. First of all, I'm going to add some lime to a nice big glass. Big and bad. And then we're going to add some mint to that as well. Nice bit of mint. And then four uh, teaspoons of powdered sugar. Right? And then we're just gonna pound that down to release the juices and the flavor and the aroma of the mint and the lime. Get it all in there. Work it nice and hard. We're gonna do one shot of Malibu. Go. To two of coconut milk. And then throw over some ice. Cheers. I don't think this one quite wax. It tastes like coconut, but I really like to drink it. There ain't much of it. Wouldn't the tuna go better? The rag and mutton one? Hello! Hi. It's our final video in Potty Classics with a Sevenian twist. Yeah, and we're gonna make uh, deviled eggs for our last. Body food. All the way from the 70s. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so the reason why we're doing this one is because I remember double eggs being made at uh, the community center dances. My nanny used to make them all the time and used to be on the serving at the dances, so we thought, why not do that for Christmas? Alright, I'll show you how to make them. Double eggs. So to make classic double eggs, you boil your eggs for 10 to 12 minutes, cut them in half once they're done, and then scoop out the yolks to make the filling. Once you've got all of your yolks out, add your flavoring. You've mashed up your egg, and then you can add in curry powder. I use about one teaspoon to about six eggs, some paprika, the extra bite, and then you a pinch of salt and the secret ingredient that my nanny used to use, salad cream. So you use about three teaspoons of salad cream, a little mix. And once you have your mix, you just scoop it out and put it back into your egg case. And you have deviled eggs. So can I try one of Nana Lillian's special deviled eggs? Of course. Here we go. Mmm, rum in a cup. Mmm, good. For a drink, I'm going to have to accompany this. Mm. I'm going to have a cider rum hot toddy for a Morgan's mix-up. Cheers. Cheers! Here is the Muggins mashup, hot toddy. Oh, that's got a kick. Mm. Oh, that has a kick. Mm. Oh, Ooh, mm. I 
And that concludes our ideas for adding a Saint twist to your Christmas parties this year. I hope you try all the recipes and give it a go and see what your guests think and let us know how it turned out for you. And remember, if all else fails, <laughs> have a ragamuffin rub. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> That's a good one. Mm.